this video, I'm going to share one of the most important feature, which is type checking rules. Now, this feature is particularly applicable in VS Code when you are dealing with Python. So let's go and see how it is. So when I'm saying type checking, it means the how your code is analyzed and what are the things which you need to improve, you need to take care. So in order to proceed with that, the very first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you have PyLens extension installed here so that it can work on your IntelliSense, type checking and other coding rules. So once this extension is in place, you can go to settings and search for type checking. And here you can see a drop down which is having three values off, basic and strict. So the default value is off, it means no type checking would be performed. Now let me go ahead and switch it to basic. Change the settings, save it and go back to your code. So as soon as we turn the settings to type checking settings to basic, you can see that a small zigzag line is appearing over here, which is saying that you are not supposed to use wild characters because when you are using wild character, it means you are importing everything, whatever is in the namespace. So this is not good from the best coding guidelines perspective and it is recommended that you should go ahead and fix it. Now let me quickly show you the another one which is strict type checking mode. Okay, so I have changed it to strict, save the settings file and this time you can see that there are a lot many zigzag lines and that too in red color. So red signifies more attention, we need to fix it before proceeding ahead. So here you can see it is complaining that you're, you should have return type and you should have, you should not use wild characters. So these are the common things which you need to fix. Now, which mode to use, which one to go, it's like individual choice. So I would recommend if you are using so many external libraries, then it's better not to set for strict mode because we are not sure how many coding standards are followed in those libraries or packages. So it's always good to go for basic ones. So at least we can deal with those. And if you feel that you yourself can deal with the things, then setting off would do the best for you. So that's what I have for today's video and I hope you enjoyed watching this cool feature. Thank you.